Hi, my name's Phil. I like to talk about politics. And over the past week or two, the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, has been conspicuous by her absence. It's been noted for some time. And MPs are becoming increasingly annoyed that she's not even making herself available for the select committee scrutiny that is the duty of every minister and official. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So often in the public, when it comes to ministers, we're used to just seeing them take part in interviews or announce policies or make a statement based on something that's happening in the country or in another country. But uh, an absolutely key part of their role is facing scrutiny. Now, most people are perfectly well aware of the Prime Minister facing Prime Minister's questions, which is something that obviously can't happen at the moment for a number of reasons. But what is less well known but really important is the fact that ministers in general face questions of other MPs in select committees. Uh, it's the way that, that ministers face scrutiny. And also it helps government as well because very often, you know, like anyone that's discussing things in, in, in a closed loop, potentially some objections to ideas wouldn't come to the surface. Uh, a select committee hearing allows you to say to ministers, well, did, are you aware of this? And sometimes they're not aware of it. And it allows the decision making to be much more fruitful. But the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, hasn't been seen or heard of really for about two weeks now. Yes, you might expect for us to hear mostly from the Chancellor and the Health Secretary in terms of senior members of the government. And of course, we've got the Foreign Secretary deputising at the moment. But the Home Secretary has a really major role to play as well. The lockdown isn't being universally observed and we, you know, you wouldn't expect it to be. So the police have a mammoth task ahead of them, an impossible one in many ways, where pragmatic decisions are having to be made. And in the pursuit of these policing aims, there have been senior law lords pointing a spotlight at the fact that some of the measures that the police uh, are employing go beyond the confines of the law. And, and this isn't the police's fault, it's not their job to be able to interpret the law, it's their job to enforce it. The interpretation has to come from elsewhere, in particular judges. And the Home Secretary has to come in in an emergency time like this as well. It's her role to ensure that the police are regularly updated with guidance for the force in terms of that's fine, you can do that. In fact, that's working well. Why don't other forces potentially consider that? Or actually, no, you can't do that. I know what you're thinking but that is not within the confines of the law. Uh, so that they are enforcing the government rules, but within the law. And an essential part of that process is the scrutiny by the Home Affairs Select Committee, which is chaired by Yvette Cooper. Even in normal times, ministers are subject to this scrutiny about their policies, but at a time of emergency, it is much, much more important. It helps us all, for ministers to be questioned, as I say, um, those questions must be answered and they must be answered in public so that we can see that government is taking place, that the role of government is, is facing public scrutiny because ministers keep saying that they are accountable to us. The only way they can be accountable to us if we are getting to see what they're doing. And you, you can't do that behind closed doors. Um, you know, if you're making your decisions entirely behind closed doors with your subordinates, then that's very different to having to have MPs who are not your subordinates call you to task effectively. Especially when you've got a Home Secretary who is reported to be as dismissive of official advice as Patel is, and that is putting it mildly. Yvette Cooper has been trying to arrange for select committee meetings with Priti Patel, um, since January now and, and has been turned down repeatedly. I wouldn't even say with lame excuses because there don't seem to be excuses of any kind. She just says, oh yeah, absolutely, I'm going to meet, uh, but doesn't. And although Parliament isn't physically sitting, digital solutions have been set up for this sort of questioning to take place. So there isn't that excuse either. In fact, I had to chuckle when Patel sort of in the last week said that she was disappointed in Cooper's increasingly adversarial tone in trying to pin her down for a date. I mean to say, 
when someone's not doing what they should and they're getting reminders, you don't expect the tenth to reminder to be the same as the first. In actual fact, Priti Patel has failed to turn up four times now. So let's say you're at work and your boss has asked you to do something and then you don't do it for whatever reason. Then the second time you get a bit of a reminder. By the time you get into the fourth time you haven't done it, do you really expect your boss to use exactly the same phrasing that they used the first time? No, that's not how it's going to work. And it's not how it's working in this case. Patel apparently tried to arrange private meetings, but that's not what these are for. Select committees exist to scrutinise government decisions in public. We have a right to listen to the justification that ministers have for both actions and inactions in their work. We don't want second-hand accounts of what's happened during these scrutiny meetings. We want to be able to see them ourselves. Another date has been set for in the next week, in the next few days, in fact. Frankly, it's not like the Home Secretary can possibly have any other engagements around the country. If she fails to tune in for that digital meeting, then it'll be a case of deliberately avoiding having to publicly explain her leadership of the Home Office at a time of national emergency. After all, other ministers have been making themselves available to their select committees. There hasn't seemed to be a problem elsewhere. There is no reason for the Home Secretary not to. So we're going to see on Tuesday if she finally follows suit and answers those questions. And I'm going to be quite interested in following that myself. But anyway, hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then please also click the Patreon link for details. And until next time, I'll see you later.